Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Bianca from Crochetnix and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about 5 myths regarding crocheting and groomies. Myth number 1. You need to be an expert crocheter to start with mummy groomies. Well, this is definitely not true. While some patterns require some intermediate to advanced level, um, there are specific patterns designed just for beginners. And for those patterns designed for beginners, as I mentioned, you just need to know the basics like single crochets, slip stitch, increase, decrease, and with some patience, um, you get there. But talking about being an expert to make an amigurumi, uh, something really important to be pointed out here is that you must pay attention to the level of the pattern you're purchasing. Just so you know, when I first started making amigurumis, I had no idea um, how to do the traditional crochet. I started with amigurumis. And in fact, I made a video in which I showed my first amigurumi and I talk a little bit about this process, so I'll leave the link here in the description too. Myth number two. You need expensive material to make amigurumis. This is also false, of course. Um, while some patterns do call for some specific types of yarn, many yeah, patterns can be done with inexpensive ones. And also talking about accessories, I mean, there is no need, if you're just starting out, um, there is no need to purchase um, many different accessories and types of yarns, for example. We can always use our creativity to adapt. For example, you can use, use some leftover yarn from one project to do another. Um, I mean, it's really important to check um, the specifications of the yarns that are being required for the pattern you want to make. But overall, I mean, there is no need to buy expensive yarn. So yeah, um, to sum up, the important thing here is to um, make sure you are using an appropriate yarn to the pattern you have chosen so you can make a sturdy and durable toy. Myth number three, amigurumis are just for kids. Well, while some amigurumis are indeed designed for kids and they are interactive, um, amigurumis in general, they are not only for kids. And um, many adults enjoy making and collecting amigurumis. Um, they have so many different purposes, like um, they can be used for decoration at your home, depending on the holiday season. And I do have some examples here that I was so excited to show you. Um, this is something that I created. You see how beautiful it is to hang on my door for Christmas. Yeah, this is very cute. And I also made some big ones. Um, to put on the couch. This is Santa. You see, this is very big. I guess it's one of the biggest amigurumis I have ever crocheted. And this is mine. I gave I gave it to me as my my own Christmas present. And I love him. He is very cute. And um, during Christmas season, I just leave it here on my couch, decorating my home. And I also have this snowman look this is the biggest actually um it has i don't know 50 centimeters or 60 something like that yeah his hat even fit in my head so yeah it's pretty big <laughs> and yeah besides serving as a toy for kids and entertainment um and also for adults and decoration to our homes like i showed you this two beauty here um well, a crochet can also work for us adults as a stress reliever, definitely. Um, and that's why I started crocheting. I needed a stress reliever and um, I, I'm, I must say that nowadays crochet is a blessing in my life. Myth number four, amigurumis are time consuming to make. Well, while it's true that, yeah, amigurumis do take some time to make, um, it really depends on the toy and the complexity of the pattern you're making. Some amigurumis can be done within a few hours, like my Groot, for example. It's very simple. Um, it demands just a few colors. There's no um, color change here in the pattern. It's very simple. I made this within a few hours. While I have this snowman in which took me a long time 
um, it's a complex pattern it's a big one I used um, um, a different yarn which is not very easy for beginners also so yeah this this one took me a long time to be done but this one was very fast so it really depends this kind of time consuming it depends on the pattern you're making but um, something important to be said here is that um, well crocheting is a therapy sometimes guys really it is it's relaxing and so the time you spend creating this cuties here i mean it's highly enjoyable and pleasant also myth number five you have to follow the pattern exactly well first of all yeah it is important to follow the pattern closely to make sure that you end up with the toy the way that he's supposed to be but it's also possible to make some small changes according to your desire or um there's always room for creativity. This one, for example, um, I remember I've done this for quite a while. So, but, but this was something that I remember easily as if it happened yesterday. His hat um, had a different pattern, but it was not like exactly the way that I wanted. So I made a few changes um, so I could adapt to the way that I wanted it to be. And yeah, I love it in the end. I know that when we are beginners, it's a bit difficult to use that creativity because we don't know um, different techniques of how to, in, I mean, make changes in a crochet pattern. But as time goes by and you gain more experience and you start to feel more confident in what you're doing, you see that you um, will be able to make good decisions regarding the changes like change the color or change the style, change buttons, decide, oh, I don't want to, I don't know, see the arms here. I want to change it a little bit. And as time goes by, you will feel more comfortable to make those kind of changes. And in the end, you have something that is 100% unique for you, like these ones that I have. Um, and I love them. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. Five myths about amigurumis debunked. So don't let these myths hold you back from trying this fun and rewarding craft. Thanks for watching, happy crocheting, and I see you in the next videos. Bye bye!